my friends welcome back I have a different video for you guys tonight it's not a review it's um, a different video while we're under lockdown there's a lot there's probably a lot of new beardsmen deciding to grow the beard for the first time and obviously they're still speaking to family on FaceTime and stuff like that and basically this video is all to do with growing a beard but how to deal with negative comments I've actually had a few people reach out to me and actually ask me when I first started growing a beard how did I tackle negative comments about my appearance so let's start from the beginning you've decided to grow a beard say for your first time your two best friends are going to be patience and time that's what you need patience and time you are not going to grow a beard overnight it takes time patience and dedication but let's start from the beginning when I first started growing my beard long long time ago I was clean shaven decided to grow a beard only a couple of my friends knew family didn't really know um, told my partner um, fancied growing a beard so of course all of a sudden you're going from shaven you're going from clean shaven and your face is beginning to change and I actually found I had the stubble um, phase that was fine once I started getting to the past the stubble stage like the two three month two month growth used to get comments at work people start to notice and say oh you you trying to grow a beard I'm like yeah 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 trying to grow a beard and the best ones was um, I think some of the best comments I had on a daily basis was like oh you've still got that beard and I used to touch my face and go oh my god I shaved this morning other comments another personal favorite of mine it's hot in the summertime someone a co-worker would say to you "Cor, you must be hot with that beard in this weather and I used to reply I'm hot all year round mate the time for me I found where I had uh, the most comments was when my beard was going from the medium length beginning just to try from the medium length trying to get it to the length it is and what I mean by that is I don't trim underneath my neck no more all those hairs are part of my beard and it gives it the beard the thickness the appearance of the thickness and the fullness but of course when you're growing your beard that doesn't come straight away so for me there was a stage where the underneath line of your neck um, looked not untidy because you could take the stray hairs out but there was certainly a time where it looked you wanted your beard to grow to get through this stage because it it did look a little bit untidy and people used to point it out and go oh you need to trim your neck again time and patience and before you know it your beard grows and all of a sudden you don't worry about your neckline no more but basically the point of this video was to say what well, how how i coped with negative comments because I'm sure we all had them especially growing a beard and not just from co-workers I had it from family members as well um, my family didn't really know I was growing a beard it's a bit of a shock to the system when they see you and it gets longer and longer and but my way that I dealt with negative comments and feedback is it actually it drove me it gave me confidence to keep on going because i'd already got the mindset in my head i was growing a beard i was growing it for a year nothing was stopping that so the negative couple of negative 
feedback I had gave me that drive to continue even more. I like to fit I like to think of myself as quite a positive person and that's what I did. I turned the negative, made it into a positive, laughed at it, um and just kept on going. And I'm glad I did. For me, going back all those years ago, deciding to grow my beard for the first time, um, apart from obviously meeting the love of my life and having our son, growing a beard for me has been one of the best things I've done. And when I say that, for me, my beard is not just hair on my face. If you ask all my close friends and my partner she will say that I love my beard the most for me the beard gives me confidence um, it makes me feel better um, and basically is part of me and um, yeah I just wanted to do a video to say how I coped with negative feedback I made it a positive I sure as hell wasn't going to take a razor to my face just because somebody thought they didn't like your beard one if they don't like your beard that's their problem it sure sure isn't yours and of course you've got other comments people used to say to you i used to roll into work when my beard and beard was at a medium length and some chap would say you know another personal favorite was like oh you look homeless i'm like thanks buddy nice one okay what else you got <laughs> I just thought I'd do a, a different video for you guys there's a lot of new beardsmen out there growing beards for the first time it can be a shock to uh, friends and family but if you really really want to grow a beard um, as I said time and patience is your best friend as well as really really good beard products oil is going to be your um your friend for the first early stages luckily for me actually one of the lucky things i never had the itchy stage um too bad i know i hear a lot of people say the itchy stage is really really bad and unbearable and a lot of people shave for me i was lucky i didn't have it too bad um and again through my beard journey i've achieved i think i've done two four years i've had my beard cut right back really really short because every now and again when i was playing around with the beard i like to change my styles um at the minute i'm really really happy with my beard length um my last trim of my beard was back last november nothing's touched my beard once lockdown is done and dusted i'll be going to see my good friend my barber he's going to do my hair and i'm gonna have the flyaways took off and when i say flyaways i mean when you comb your beard out or use the heated brush you've clearly got longer hairs than the rest of the beard gonna have them took out i'm keen to see how far my beard can go that's my little excuse me that's my little goal for myself i'm just loving the beard journey I love the length I've got my beard too and um, yeah I'm just looking forward to see how far I can take it and of course that's on the flip side as well all the negative comments I had when my beard was short um, all of a sudden people start because basically it's a shock to the system for people to see you with a beard once I'd rocked a beard for six to seven months and it was taking shape and it was coming in thick and it was getting longer the comments disappeared and in fact you started having compliments like oh your beard looks really good it's really really thick it's you know it's so it's funny for me the the negative comments i had was at my early stage of growth um going from stubble to actually get in some form of beard there um, once it come in a little bit longer I found that the comments just disappeared of course you're always going to get someone have a comment but um yeah so my advice anyway was just 
the negative feedback I had, I span on its head and I turned it into a positive and it gave me the drive to um, continue with what I was doing because just because someone didn't like my beard, there was nowhere on this planet, I was picking a razor and taking it off just because somebody didn't like it. That's their problem, not mine. Um, if this video helps one person, um, I'll be happy. Um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to do a different, a different video for you guys tonight, today. Just come and chill out with you guys and just speak about the negative comments I had. I turned it into positive once the beard got longer and people got used to you with a beard. Um, and of course, main factor that I was lucky with is I've always had, from day one, I've always had 100% support from my partner, which does go a long way and does really help help you out. She's been supported from day one. Yes, if you asked her, she'd probably say that she'd like my beard took down a little bit. It's not happening. But um, she's been she's been hundred percent positive from day one. My son has only ever known me with a beard, so um, yeah. I just wanted to, uh, as I said, to speak about negative comments. Don't let people, don't let people put you down. If you want to grow a beard, grow a beard. Do not let people, everyone's, everyone in this world is allowed an opinion and people can speak freely. Um, don't take it to heart, laugh it off. Like I said, the best one of all time is when they say to you on a hot sunny day, Coy, you must be hot with that beard. Yeah, mate, I'm hot all year round. <laughs> Do me a favour, guys. Have you experienced the negative comments when you're growing a beard? Um, did it actually push you to shave your beard off? Or, like me, did you just kind of laugh it off and just, just get on with it? Because... Um, it would be interesting to hear what you guys, how you guys dealt with it. Um, as I said, I've got a supportive partner, which goes a long way. The people at work, they only really had something to say while my beard was going through its early stages of growth. Laughed it off, made it into a positive. Once I started to get some actual length on my beard, the negative comments went away and you were left with positive um which is which is fantastic and now every all of my friends and family just know me with a beard and um yeah that's cool anyway i don't want to go on too long my friends but if this helps one person put down the razor if someone said to them oh your beard looks naff no give it time grow what you got you're not going to grow a beard overnight put the razor down grow what you've got and rock it that's my advice and uh, yeah that's enough of me going on i'll see you all real soon until next time take care my friends